People don't do what we expect them to do, uh, especially in fires. What we're looking at is an off-licence. Uh, it's an ordinary day and the security camera is overlooking the shop itself. Uh, one customer leaves, uh, another customer remains. Now this chap that's walking in is intent on thieving some sweets. The guy in the background has just picked up a piece of paper, ignited it and throws it into that display by the shop window door. He runs off, and the idea is that the girl behind the counter will be pulled away to put the fire out, and the child nicks some sweets while she's doing it. However, it doesn't quite happen that way. And what's actually happening now is you can't see it, but that flame is beginning to grow in both the upper part of that display and the lower. This customer walks in and sees the fire on the display. What does he do about it? Nothing. The gang of kids that are waiting for the sweeties now do a runner and you can see on the left hand side where the flames are beginning to flicker on both the upper and lower levels of that display. Now the gentleman is still seeing that particular flame glowing over there but still has said nothing. He's standing in the queue waiting to be served. And now he says he's beginning to grow, it's about time, excuse me, but the display's on fire and the girl in front of him assists in that uh, statement. So the girl goes off to get a fire extinguisher from behind the counter. Meanwhile, some kids who've got their mother with them gather at the front of the shop there to look at the fire. Absolutely oblivious of any danger. And so are the people in the shop who are still waiting to be served. The girl comes out with a carbon dioxide extinguisher. Another customer has just entered and says he wants to give a hand. And if you look closely on the left hand side, when she operates it, she fires it into her face. Here she goes, fires it off into her face, see, there you go. He stands back and so does another boy that's coming. It's got nothing to do with what was going on with regards to theft, whilst the girl stands back with the fire extinguisher and fans the flames with it. Meanwhile, the children and the mother have left to stand outside the shop. Now, that's the only way in and the only way out of this shop and the fire's beginning to grow. The girl behind the counter has now handed the carbon dioxide extinguisher to another customer. Uh, the women have got worried by the, uh, by the smoke and the flame and have decided to leave. What has happened now is that the customer left with the fire extinguisher has disappeared. The boy was going to have a go, but he thinks that that's, uh, that's not, uh, not right for him either. And the other customer has been out the back of the shop, helped himself to two bottles of scotch, and walks out. It's round about this time that the temperature at head height is about 300 degrees centigrade, and the smoke is beginning to build such that you wouldn't be able to survive in this particular atmosphere. And just so that you understand the full gravity of the situation, those customers only just managed to get out of the shop with seconds to spare. It's round about this time that uh, survival in the shop would become negative. The first time people come to terms with the realities of fire inside a building is when they meet it in reality, and that's not the time to start learning.